Welcome back to another episode of Sal and Pals Go to the Movies. Tuli is busy, so I will be reviewing Antlers by myself. So just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead, so you've been warned. In an isolated Oregon town, a middle school teacher and her sheriff brother become embroiled with her enigmatic student whose dark secrets lead to the terrifying encounters with a legendary ancestral creature who came before them. So let's begin with my first pro, which is that one of the main producers was Guillermo del Toro and the director was Scott Cooper. I mean, Scott's fairly new to directing movies. I really enjoyed two of his previous movies, Hostel with Christian Bell and Black Mass with Johnny Depp and Benedict Cumberbatch. But Guillermo has many good movies, so both have different elements that they can bring to this movie. So this is why I went to watch this movie. My next pro is the cast. We have Jeremy Thomas who plays Lucas and does an amazing job with his acting. I actually felt for him throughout the movie, so he did a good job. We also have Carrie Russell playing Julia and Jesse Pleman playing her brother Paul. And with a minor role, we have Graham Greene playing Warren. Basically, those are the main important Important characters for this movie. My next pro is the story, which revolves around the folktale of the Wendigo, which is a very interesting Native American folktale that it even appears as the force in the Stephen King's Pet Cemetery novel that influences people to do bad things. But in this one, we actually see the creature, so I feel that the influence behind how the Wendigo looks in this movie is in part due to Guillermo, since that would come from his mind given his other movies. So now moving on to my cons. So the main issue here is not the actual story involving the Wendigo, but more like like they don't explain the background behind Julia and her brother and their father or spend more time showing how Lucas feels that he can still save his father and his brother or show us when he lost his mother and how this made his bond between him and his brother stronger. Then when the ending comes we feel really bad for him for having to deal with what they do to his brother. Since this is based on a short story called The Quiet Boy I feel that most of our answers might lie somewhere in there but we won't know until we read it. My next point is the director and producer involvement in the movie. I feel that Guillermo had a duty to look at the script for the director and say, hey there Scott, you know, I think you need to fix this part or say, you know, I would do this versus that instead of what you're going to do. And also Scott needs to rely on all the producer's input since he doesn't really have much experience in this genre of movies. Not to say that they both didn't do their job, I'm just saying that they should have had a little more fusion when they were working on this movie. My next con is that I also feel that this movie would have been better as a short film versus a full length film since they don't have much of a story or character development go off on. One easy fix would have been that Julia and Paul had to go investigate the folktale along with Warren versus them just talking to Warren just once. Then after they investigate together it leads them to Lucas and his family and after all this information they have gathered now they have an idea of how to defeat the creature. But at last they didn't go this way and thus the best part of the movie is the acting of Lucas and the actual images of the Wendigo. So my final grade for this movie is going to be a 6 out of 10. I mean I enjoyed the Wendigo being part of the story but the lack of character development really did hurt the movie overall and here's hoping that Nightmare Alley which is actually directed by Guillermo del Toro will be better. So I guess that does it for this review of Antlers. Please join us next time when we're going to review Ghostbusters Afterlife. Somehow a town with no fault lines is shaking on a daily basis. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.